For an it city, the East Bank leaves a lot to be desired, or as others see it, potential. Yes, there's going to be a big old football stadium there, but once you get a block or two away, we want it to be a modern, dense, urban environment where Nashvilleians are living and working and, and playing. With the ink now dry on a deal to develop 30 acres surrounding the new Titan Stadium and Tennessee Performing Arts Center, Boston-based developer, the Fallon Company, moves into the design and construction prep phase. Work will start on the east side of the development and move towards the river. Parcel G will see the first buildings take shape. We'd like to see um, a hotel building and then the first residential building, which is an all affordable building, starting in early 2026. Affordability is a key component of the deal struck between the city and Fallon Company. Of the 1,550 residential units promised site-wide, 695 will be considered affordable. At the top end, a family of four making no more than $80,000 a year would be able to call this area home. And that will be a range of affordable from very, very deeply affordable subsidized units on up to what we call workforce housing. And this is locked in for how long? Uh, Fallon is committed to keep these units um, to these affordability levels for the full 99 years of the lease, um, which is some four times longer than the city has accomplished before. A daycare with priority for those living in the first residential building is also part of the deal. From affordability to our city's next big challenge, transportation. An East Bay Transit Center will take shape in Parcel A, and the entire development will include wider sidewalks, protected bike lanes, and the city's first dedicated transit lanes. The areas they're developing are um, either side of the pedestrian bridge. Mm -hmm. TPAC will be in here. It is a new kind of neighborhood for a city on the rise, one that CEO Mike Fallon believes his company can deliver. Our company makes big, bold bets on uh, large mixed-use deals. This one will have to showcase a great partnership, a great product, and folks that really enjoy being there. And one where the city will reap its own rewards. Of the nearly $150 million in infrastructure improvements needed, the city will pay for less than $10 million of that, while continuing to own the land and receive rent from the Fallon Company. This is an unusual government deal in that there's going to be more money coming to us than we're spending out. So how'd you get Fallon to buy into that? What, what's the payoff? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, first of all, Metro's got another 80 acres to develop, and I think they would like to be partners in all of that with us.